Hi, it's Veronica. This video is about Espresso Systems. The company provides scaling and privacy solutions for web free applications. It has its own layer 1 blockchain based on proof of stake consensus combined with ZK rollups. If you haven't heard about zero knowledge proofs before, this is the same mechanism that Alio, Zcash, Montero, or ZK Sync or Starkware are based on. Long story short, with ZK proofs, you can bundle up a bunch of transactions together in such a way that there are less resources needed to process them. Thus, you increase the number of transactions per second or the efficiency, and this will also reduce the gas fees since there is also less resources needed. There are quite a few private blockchains that are gaining momentum at the moment. However, they have different technical aspects, for example, different consensus, which allows them to be suitable for different use cases and thus solve different problems. For example, some focus more on scalability and others more on the privacy. Espresso Systems is leaning more towards the scalability side with its configurable asset privacy application for Ethereum or CAPE. CAPE gives asset creators the ability to customize the privacy settings of who can see what about the ownership of the asset as well as its movement. Cape has Ethereum in the name, so duh, the smart contract app works with Ethereum. However, there is more, it is compatible with all the apps that can run through an EVM or an Ethereum virtual machine. That means that using Cape, the developers of the existing Ethereum applications can configure the data privacy of their assets that they created. The main problem that configurable asset privacy settings solve is the balance between the regulations and the compliance with those regulations, for example, government regulations for stablecoins and user privacy. For example, using CAPE, a provider can create such a version of a stablecoin that while the user conducts their transactions privately, the issuer of the stablecoin can see the balances and let's say has a, a freezing ability to freeze the balance of the user. At the moment, it has not been released, but we are waiting for the testnet on Ethereum Gorly testnet. For now, let's at least look how it is set up. The diagram might look slightly complicated at first, however, it is quite easy to follow when you look closer. So let's say Alice wants to transfer some type of asset to Bob's wallet. In this case, the type of asset is native to the Espresso system. So then she takes and then requires an encryption public key, and the address book sends it for the Bob's wallet. This encryption public key is going to be needed for Bob to later on recover Alice's asset record after the transaction has been processed in the CAPE smart contract. Then Alice can actually transfer the assets and the memo of this transfer is created and then sent to the relayer. The relayer creates a new block and sends it to the CAPE contract and the CAPE contract sends it to the Ethereum query service which in turn sends a new block events into the Bob's wallet, Alice's wallet, into the relayer, freezer, and auditor. So the auditor in this case only gets some of the information and uh, this is configurable. Then using the memo of Alice actually transferring the assets, her status, her local status is updated. Then Bob's wallet is also updated. Afterwards, the auditor also gets to store some of the information, but the amount of information and the types of it can be configurable. In addition to its own layer 1 blockchain and a smart contract application CAPE, Espresso Systems also releasing Jellyfish, an open source library for ZK proofs and cryptography tools. The co-founders have a strong expertise in ZK proofs. They are working on a cryptography PhD at Stanford and have had experience with big blockchain projects, for example, Chia, Monero Blockchain, and Filecoin. The chief scientist of Espresso, Benedict Bunce, is also a researcher at Anderson Horowitz crypto research team. Now let's move on to the funding. Espresso Systems has raised over $35 million in funding in a seed round in November of 2020 and a Series A funding, which was recently on the 7th of March of 2022. The round was led by Electric Capital and Greylock with participation of Sequoia Capital, Blockchain Capital and Slow Ventures. Other investors included Alameda Research, Polychain, Coinbase Ventures, Gemini, Paxos, Terraform Labs and two angel investors. It is still quite early before the release of the mainnet. However, I found this project quite interesting to watch and quite promising as well. So I'm putting it onto your radars too. What we are waiting for now is the release of a demo version of CAPE, the smart contract application, on Ethereum testnet. Then it's gonna be followed by the testnet of the layer 1 blockchain for Espresso, where you will have to set up a node for the project. Unfortunately, no clear dates have been announced, so I would recommend you to closely monitor the Discord for that, and I will leave the link in the description. That was it for this project. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.